some of the stance that you had is uh, giving you this kind of trouble that you're seeing today mm. is in crisis right now. Yeah. Are you sticking with the party? But of course. The PDP is my party. I will never leave the party. Um, you're never I, considering going back to the APC? I would never. The APC, absolutely out of the question. Until kingdom comes, you know, until Jesus returns, that will never happen. Well. But you, you, you led the PDP for the APC. Well, we've that discussed that on many, many occasions. I've told you my reasons for doing that at that time. I was not happy. The point is that I felt that this was the appropriate time to do the right thing, to put Nigeria first and to appreciate the efforts that have been made, particularly in the last couple of years in terms of security, fighting insurgency, fighting terrorism, and most importantly, is the appreciation of the fact that we must remain one as a nation, build bridges, work together to move the country forward. Um, the efforts of the governor of Yobe State, the governor of Zamfara State, and a number of others, including the governor of Kogi and a number of others um, in their respective states, and in moving this country forward and in helping Mr. President to move this country forward cannot be ignored. And um, it's very, very important for us to appreciate the fact that when we see that there are good things that are happening, we appreciate those good things. It's not always negative. And when the time is right, we change direction to join forces and join hands to move the country forward. And doing this doesn't mean we're enemies to anybody. Um, all of us, even if we're in another party, the PDP or any other party or any other group, we can still work together across party lines, regional lines, ethnic lines and religious lines. The most important thing is for us to understand and appreciate the fact that Nigeria must not disintegrate and those that want us to end up fighting one another in a war will be put to shame. And there are people that think like that and that is what informed me to come here to meet Mr. President was very gracious. He was very good to me today, spoke so well, and it's an honor for me to be here, and we will move the country forward together. How do you think your former party, the PDP, will receive this new Well, that's left to them. I have many, many friends in the PDP. Um, if you remember, in 2013, I, I was actually one of those that formed the APC, and so there were a few issues, and I went back to PDP. But I think it's an individual thing. As a party, of course, they may not be too happy, but I have no enemies there, and I have nothing negative to say about anybody there. Uh, I believe in moving the country forward together uh, with everybody that believes in Nigeria and wants Nigeria to progress. And I also believe that we must recognize the fact that there are two more years for this administration or thereabouts. Um, we must come together to make sure we survive it. We must come together to make sure Nigeria is a better place, and we must work together regardless of party affiliation. But whatever they say whatever they choose to say is entirely up to them i have many friends there let's hope that um, they don't feel too bad about it but we're, we're all nigerians there are many many people um, if you ask my friend and brother governor matawale here there are many people within um, the pdp who really do want to come over to the apc i can tell you that i was there and very instrumental when governor mahi um, you know joined the APC. I was there and very instrumental when Governor Ayade did the same thing. I was there and very instrumental when my friend and brother, Governor uh, Zamfara, Governor Matawali, did the same thing. And there are many, many others. Some of the most, you know, remarkable men in this country are still within the ranks of the PDP. It's our job to try to win them over now. Somebody like, if, I, if you don't mind me mentioning names, somebody like um, the governor of Enugu State, the governor of Oyo State, and of course um, my good friend, the governor of Bauchi State, great friends of mine. And I sincerely hope that they too uh, may end up coming in this direction. But whether they do or not, the most important thing is that we work together as a people, as a country, and move our country together and fight and kill the terrorists and put to shame the foreign elements. And I emphasize that word, foreign elements, that want us to end up fighting one another in this country and turning our country into a massive refugee camp. What will you be telling those that will criticize you for criticizing APC in the past and now you're in the past? I'll say that the only thing in life, the only constant thing in life is change. You, you know, you can't hold me to what I've said in the past if circumstances change. And um, I will always bow to superior argument and logic. For me, the primary cause today, and, and let me say this, there's no way I will renege of my fundamental core values and principles. Anybody that knows me will tell you that. I believe in certain things, how the country should be moved forward. I will fight for that from within this party to ensure it's done. I believe in fairness and in equity. But the most important thing for us today is this. We must not allow our country to fall apart based on disagreement and misunderstanding amongst one another. I've recognized the fact that we're very close to war. A lot of people don't know this. And God forbid we should go into that 
we should come together, build bridges. So if they criticize me for that, it's their right to do so. Um, I, I, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I've made a choice. I believe I've been led by the Spirit of God, and I will fight the corner and fight for what I believe is right within this party as I would anywhere. I will never give up on my core values and principles.